Hello, hello, beautiful people. You are warmly welcome back. This is another week, and I'm excited for today's week. And I, because I have a lot of information for you, I want to take this opportunity to say thank you very much. And God richly bless you for sticking to this device, for sticking to my channel. If you have not yet subscribed, my brother, my sister, just hit on that subscription button and become a full member of a subscriber of this channel so you also remember to put on your notifications so you can get all the information that God is giving us on this platform if you are praying or you are praying for generational curses if you want to break those you know altars of evil if you want to dissolve those covenants and you are praying so consistently and along the way you are having such dreams I am here today to show you one of the dreams or two of the dreams that are very similar or that are very popular that the enemy uses especially when you are on this journey yes when you are on this journey and he cannot get through you he uses other people in your family to get through you so i want you to stick to uh, i want you to stick tuned as i take this short commercial break i will be right you are welcome back Concerning today's video, as I said, there are some elements that I want you to get aware with, especially if you are praying to break those altars of evil concerning you and your family, if you want to dissolve those evil covenants, if you want to separate yourself from your old being and have and, and live in the new covenant, this dream will be very, very important for you. Why do I want to share this dream or this, this uh, tricks of the enemy? I, I think that it took me a while to understand these dreams whilst I was on my journey to breaking the evil covenant and generational curses. Uh, one of the streams that normally happens is that uh, when you are praying, now that you are praying for this generational curses, now that you are getting up at midnight, you are praying in the day, you are praying in the evening, like you are consistent or you're, you're, you, are, you are very punctual on those, you're, you, are, you are visiting the altar of God on a daily basis. So you are fortified and you know, you are, you are getting somewhere. But because you are not yet there, whenever the enemy wants to come to attack you, because when he tries now, he's trying so many ways that he cannot get through you. So what he does is that whenever he wants to get to you, he goes into your family background and he uses the faces of your blood, your bloodline. Maybe he uses the faces of your mother, he uses the faces of your father, your siblings, your cousins, or your, your aunties, your uncle but there are this particular face i want you to be very vigilant he's not going to use everybody but he's going to be that person that is weak or that person that is very close to them or that person that has gone into this covenant with them because they cannot operate without a legalization they need a body to give them the permission so they can use that body to operate here on this earth so what they are doing or what they are, it's happening or the, some of the visions you are having now, this is the explanation. They are using, for example, they are using your mother's face. And once they use your mother's face, that, no, that, that immediately you see your mother's face in this dream. Then you see that the, the, the dream shift to another scene. And this scene is, is, is a creation of evil or whatever that a dream will end up to will be a dream of evil it will be a dream that maybe you are being fight or fought by somebody or it will be a dream that it will end not good you will get up in that dream and you'll be confused you get up in that dream and you'll be like what kind of dream is this but at before that dream will get to that end you have to see this face either your sister either your brother either your mother either your grandparent one of them and you will see that this face is consistently this particular
particular face that you see the moment you see that face like it just like is in you are in a movie the the, 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 the second scene you see it will not be a good scene will not be a, a, how I say an attractive scene this is the sign that the enemy is at you this is the sign that now he cannot get you now he's trying everything spiritually he cannot get you he's trying everything uh, physically he cannot get you either spiritually way or the physical way so he needs somebody in your bloodline to use that person against you so right now what happens is if it is your mother or if it's your father sometimes what they do is that they will use those faces to harm you in the dream either your mother will be chasing you with a cutlass or either your father will be chasing you or want to kill you or wants to do evil against you in this dream meanwhile these people are your loved ones we know what he's doing he wants to bring confusion into your family he wants to bring you hatred. The moment you get hate, you you hate them. The moment you get dishonoring, especially your parents. The moment you get to dishonor them, he has gotten you because he wants to cause you to sin. He wants to cause a door. He wants to open a door so he can pass through that door and get you. Because now you have become the 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 the, the, the deliverer of your family, and now you are living a life that is pleasing God. So you are being protected. So he wants to create a way. He wants to create a scene so that through that scene he can get through that door and he can come and attack you. Don't give him that chance. Sometimes you go to a church and your pastor or your prophet will even tell you your mother is a witch, your father is your witch, your uncle is a witch. Either they are a witch or not, that one leave it to God. If any prophet will come and tell you your mother is a witch, your grandmother is a witch and he cannot help you deliver them, do not listen to them. Take the case to God. Do not harm this innocent. Most of them, 99% of our family or our, our parents are innocent of this attack. It is the way, it is a strategy of the enemy. He has used this strategy to destroy a lot of families. Because of that, their children, does, they don't obey, they don't honor their, their parents because the Bible says, honor your mother and your father. So the moment you are dishonoring them, you are into trouble already. The enemy has already gotten you. So I don't want you to be in that place. Do not allow him to get through you. The second dream I want to also uh, uh, explain to you, maybe you have been seeing your best and your close friends the days of your, uh, your young, maybe in your primary school, in your kindergarten, when you were very young, you try to see their friends. These people, somehow, somewhere, you do, you do not know there is this co uh, uh, covenant that you have made with them. You might not know. Maybe it's just a verbal thing you have said, but the evil spirit had taken them. And you were young, you were, you did not even know what you were saying, but they can work against you in this time because the devil has record of everything. So what you would do is sometimes he uses these best friends. He uses these covenanted friends, your, your old age friends. And then you see them in this dream again. Whenever you see them, they are working against you. Whenever you see these faces in your dream, it's like they, they hate you. Meanwhile, you don't even have contact with these people any longer. You don't, you don't even, you don't, the last time you saw them, maybe you were about 10 or 20 years ago, but in your dreams, they, those dreams will look fresh. Those dreams will look, you know, new to you. This is the work of the enemy because you had a covenant with these people. Somehow the enemy is not making use of it. That is when, when God is showing you these dreams, I want you to begin to disconnect, to separate yourself, to ask God. You are asking the blood of Jesus to disconnect any evil covenant, any covenant that you have gone into with these people. These very faces that you have seen, because these faces will be repeated itself. And any time it has repeated itself, it is the time that the enemy wants to reinforce. It is the time that the enemies want the enemy wants to attack. The any time you see them in your dreams, you have to know that no, the enemy is about something. That this particular face, it can even be your ex-boyfriend, your childhood ex-boyfriend. That you have gone into a lot of covenant, a, a verbal covenant. He is going to use those against, especially now that you are, you know, you want to come out from those covenants. 
I hope God is speaking to somebody. I hope this is helping somebody. And I am praying that you will not take these dreams for granted. God richly bless you. I love you, but God loves you so much. Shalom. Peace. Thank you.